situated on a huge peninsula in East Asia, which is presently referred to as the Korean Peninsula, Korea has a vast history. Korea is separated by the Duman River from Russia and China from the northeast, while the Amnok River demarcated from China in the northwest. The country is covered in mountains and is flanked by seas on three sides. The entire Korean peninsula is about 600 miles if measured from the north tip to the tip in south. The Koreans have been known to have ruled themselves, except for a short period when the Japanese had taken over control of the nation for some time. History of Korea goes back in Paleolithic times, and the oldest artifacts which have been found date back to 8000 BCE. Remains of the Neolithic Age dating back to 6000 BCE have been uncovered while those of the Bronze Age belong to 2500 BCE. The main history of the country is accounted for from the Gojo Seon Kingdom to present. When the World War II ended in 1945, Korea was divided into North and South. The former was under the protection of Soviets, while the Americans took care of the latter. Till 1948, there was no decision made and they couldn't mutually agree on forming a single government. When the agreement did not happen, the petition was made permanent and now North Korea and South Korea. The Korean War in 1950 was an attempt made to bring the two nations under one rule of the communists, but it did not happen. Ceasefire happened in 1953, but there was no peace treaty which was signed. The states were recognized by United Nations Organization in 1991. Presently, Korea is usually referred to as North Korea or Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which is ruled by the Workers' Party of Korea, while South Korea or Republic of Korea, which runs on a presidential democratic framework where the president is the leader of the nation. The nations have a joint history where kings and leaders ruled the lands, provided for their people and defended them and their lands from its enemies. Gojo Seon the first Korean kingdom is known to have been founded by Dangon Wangyeong in 2333 BCE, who according to the mythology was the offspring of the demigod bear turned woman. These legends have been mentioned in the Samguk Yusa, which is one of the Korean books from 1281. Although there is no evidence about the Dangon myth, the fact says that he was the one who laid the foundation of Korea. Another saying is that a prince named Gija from China of Shan dynasty founded the Gija Joseon in 12th century. However, there is an archaeological conflict here too, as there is no proper evidence to support Prince Gija. Hence, this has also been dismissed as an understanding. Gojo Seon first came up in the records of the Chinese in around 7th century BC, and by the 4th century BC, the nation was quite developed and well known in China. During the same century, the capital of Gojo Seon was moved to Pyongyang. In 195 BCE, the ruler of Gojo Seon was King Jung, who had appointed a refugee Wen Man from Yan in his court. Jun made Wiman the commander of his army, which was looking after the western borders in Bern Joseon. Wiman had revolted against the king, which resulted in Jun fleeing the place and women taking over the Korean peninsula. Later, in 108 BC, Wiman Joseon was defeated by the Han dynasty of China. Emperor Wu of the Han dynasty established four commander established four commandiers, Linton, Lilang, Zhenfeng, and Xuantu in the Korean peninsula. Lilang commandery survived of the four and a hub of economic and cultural activities. Lilang survived for four centuries but was conquered in 313 by Goguryeo, which was also a Korean empire, located in the central and the northern parts of the peninsula and in the central and southern areas of Manchuria. Later, the Gojo Seon was further divided into many smaller states such as Donggye, Buyeo, Baekje, Okejo and Goguryeo. 
In the 5th century, a short name of Goguryeo, Goryeo, was selected to be the official name. The English version of Goryeo is Korea. The proto, Three Kingdoms of Korea, is a time period after Gojoseon fell and before Baekje, Goguryeo and Silla became independent kingdoms. This phase occurred in the first three centuries of common era. There were many states which came up. The two which are the most well known are Bukbueo and Dongbueo. After Gojo Seong fell, the next kingdom which rose was Buyeo, which is present Manchuria and North Korea. The kingdom flourished between 2nd century BC to 494. What was left of Gojo Seong was absorbed by Baekje and Goguryeo. They call themselves the successors of Gojo Seong. From what can be seen in the records, in 86 BC, Dong Bueo or East Bueo divided, and later on, the actual Bueo is at times known as Buk Bueo or North Bueo. The predecessor to Go Bueo was Chobun Bueo, and later on, in 538, Baekje decided to call itself Nam Bueo or South Bueo. Located in the northern peninsula was a tribal state which went by the name Okaja, which came up when Gojo Seon fell, but its neighbors were too intervening to let Okaja become a flourishing kingdom. Later on, it was made a part of Goguryeo in the 5th century by Guangaeto Taiwang. The fate of Okaja was shared with Donggya. Both Donggya and Okaja were a part of Gojo Seon earlier. In the early centuries of CE and the last century of BCE, there were three confederacies which were together known as Samhan, Jinhan, Mahan and Bayonhan. These nations were ruled with strict laws and religion played a very important role in governing these kingdoms. The biggest out of the three was Mahan which comprised of 54 states. The Samhan were later absorbed into the the Three Kingdoms. The Three Kingdoms Goguryeo Goguryeo is at times spelled as Koguryeo and was later officially known as Goryeo, which became the name of Korea. The kingdom was founded by Dong Myong or Dong Myong Xeng Wang, which translates as the Holy King of the East in 37 BC. The birth name of the founding king was Jumong. His statue still stands in Pyongyang. The government of Goguryeo was consolidated by King Taejong. During the reign of King Sosurim, the kingdom adopted Buddhism as their state religion in 372. Wang Gaeto the Great, who was 19th monarch of the Goguryeo Empire, and his son Jiangsu were the people who helped in the expansion of their kingdom. The kingdom of Goguryeo shined in the 5th century and became one of the most powerful nations in East Asia. They merged many regions of Inner Mongolia and all of Manchuria except for a few area and regions of Russia. They also annexed what is present Seoul from Baekja and added to Goguryeo. The rule of Gwangeto and Jiangsu helped in bringing about a golden age for the Goguryeo kingdom. The kingdom was so powerful that the other two kingdoms of Silla and Baekja were subdued by them, which was almost like a unification. The political and economic conditions of Goguryeo were perfected by Jiangsu in his long reign of 79 years. The kingdom was a military state and always looked forward to gain control of the Korean peninsula. They also had several conflicts and wars with the various Chinese dynasties. The most famous wars of Goguryeo and the Chinese is the Goguryeo Sui War, where around a million men of Sui dynasty were defeated by the Goguryeo armies and thereby led to the fall of Sui. The 27th monarch of Goguryeo was King Yongnyu and had succeeded the throne in 618. Yeon Gainsmun was a very authoritative military commander of the Goguryeo armies during these times and helped win many battles against China. 
King Yang Gnu was very concerned about the ways of Gaismun and planned, with his officials, to have his commander murdered. However, Gaismun was shrewd and in 642 he led a coup against the kin. Once he came to know about the plot, Gaismun had a grand banquet, inviting all the officials who were thought to be involved in the plot of his murder. There were around 100 officials whom Gaismon ambushed and murdered in the banquet. After the massacre of the officials, he, along with his men, went to the place and slaughtered King Yongnyu. He placed King Yongnyu's nephew on the throne and became the Dei Magniji, which is some sort of a military dictator who is all-powerful. Amongst this havoc, the Chinese Emperor Tang Taizong invaded Goguryeo. He could not stand against the powerful Dai Mangninji and had to retreat back. Tang Taizong was succeeded by his son Tang Gaozang, and upon his death, joined forces with Silla and attacked Goguryeo once again. They failed once again in 662 and had to go back. In 666, Yeon Gai Somun died, after which in Goguryeo there was a struggle between his younger brother and son to succeed. In the course, his younger brother joined Silla while his son shook hands with Tan dynasty. Tan and Silla came together once again in 668 and this time managed to conquer Goguryeo. Once the battle was won, Tan and Silla began to fight amongst themselves to take control of the Korean peninsula. Goguryeo's northern areas were captured by Tang, while Sila managed to get most of the regions in Korean Peninsula. Thirty years later, after Goguryeo had fallen, Dai Joyong, a general of Goguryeo, founded Bohei and kicked out the Tangs from the Goguryeo territories, most of it at least. Sila Bak Haikogyosi united six chiefdoms of Jinhan Confederacy in 57 BC and laid the foundation of Silla. Silla was a kingdom in the southeastern region of Korea. The current city of Busan, which is a port, was also part of Silla before. A unified Silla came up later on and controlled the seas. They became famous for destroying several Japanese pirates. Unlike the Bakche and Goguryeo, the people of Silla were influenced by the people of Persians, Iran and those from the nomadic steppes. The people of Silla were famous for gold metalwork. Silla flourished in the 2nd century. It had occupied several neighbouring states. In 562, the kingdom became stronger when they annexed Gaia Confederacy. Baekja, Goguryeo, Japan often pressurised Silla. Of the three kingdoms, Silla was the weakest and the smallest. It is said that the weak shouldn't be underestimated. Silla was a diplomatic kingdom and allied with powerful Korean kingdoms to gain an advantageous position and to continue its existence. It was under the rule of King Muyou that the armies of Silla and Tang of China and fell the great Gokuryeo. Baekje the founder of Baekje was a Goguryeo prince who was the third son of Jumong, the founder of Goguryeo kingdom. In one of the records of Chinese history which is known as Zhangguo Ji, there is mention of the three kingdoms and the Eastern Han dynasty. The records talk of Baekje being a member of Mahan confederacy in Han river basin. Baekje expanded its territories and moved southwest, taking over Jeolia and Chungcheong and had a strong hold over the peninsula both politically and in terms of military power. In the 4th century, when King Gyeongchago was in reign, Baekje took control of all Mahan states as well as the western part of the Korean peninsula, which also included Gyeonggi, Gangwon and Hwanggai. They had a centralized form of government. Baekje Kingdom had great control of the seas with influential maritime. They took this opportunity to learn Chinese technology and culture while also making contacts with southern dynasties of China. They became the Phoenicia of East Asia. Phoenicia is a Greek term which they used to refer a region with major export. Baekje played an important role in spreading Buddhism in East Asia. They also helped in transferring culture and things such as iron making, 
ceremonial burials and advanced pottery to Japan. Although Baekje was a strong country in terms of military power, it started to decline after it was defeated badly by Guangai to the Great of Goguryeo. Later on, in 660, Baekje was subdued by alliance of Silla and Tang. They retreated to the court of Japan, where there was transfer of more knowledge amongst the nations. Kaya in southern Korea, in the valley of Nakdong River, there was another coalition of small kingdoms, which was jointly known as Gaia. The region was rich in iron, so agriculture and making of iron tools thrived in the nation. Gaia also exported the iron tools they made. The coalition of kingdom was led by Gyeongwan Gaia, which were nine villages united under King Suro, along with his queen in the Gimhai region. His queen is considered as the first queen of Gaia confederacy. But after the 5th century, the powers went to Daya Gaia in the Goryong area. Gaia was always in war with three kingdoms of Korea that surrounded it, hence they were unable to establish a unified state. Gaia was ultimately immersed into Silla in 562. North and South States Period the period is marked between 698 to 926 CE and is used for the time when later Silla and Balhae had great powers in the Korean peninsula. Silla had seen great advancement and development during this period. Later Silla The kingdom of Silla is referred to as Later Silla when the kingdom conquered and unified Baekja and Goguryeo in the Korean peninsula. Baekje was attacked in 660 under the orders of King Munmu of Silla, aided by the Tang forces. It took two attempts to subdue Goguryeo, but it was subdued in 668, once again with the help of Tang forces. A unified Silla survived for more than two and a half centuries before it was taken away by Goryeo in 935 from King Gyeongsung. Along with the maritime expertise of Baekje, later Silla became dominant in the seas of East Asia and established trade between Japan, Korea and China. Later Silla shone when Jiang Bogo was around. His skills had got him the position of maritime commissioner of the Changhai Jin garrison, but with power came destruction and he was assassinated by an envoy of the Silla court known as Yeom Jiang. There were communities made in China by the Silla people on the mouth of Yangtze River and Shandong Peninsula. Buddhism spread in Silla and along with many Chinese Buddhists, there were several Korean Buddhists who gained fame. Some of the famous Buddhists were Yu Zhang, Won Chok, Mu Zhang and Won Hyo. Another Buddhist who was quite famous was a Silla prince by the name Kim Jo Gak. It was due to his influence that the Mount Juhua came to be famous as one of the four sacred mountains in the Chinese Buddhism. Later Silla and Tang dynasty maintained their friendship. Several Korean monks learned Buddhism in China. Later Silla kept account of their people. They had census. Even the cows and horses were counted and recorded in the data book known as Minjong Mun Sao. Every leader of the town collected this report and submitted in the main office. A Confucian college was set up in the year 682, which was named as National Confucian University in 750. Only the high-class people were allowed to this college. Several statues of Buddha were made by woodblock printing. There have been archaeological discoveries made and the oldest discovery in printed material dates back to 751 CE. Problems for Silla began in the 9th century. There were many political upheavals and the descendants of Baekje set up the later Baekje. The Goguryeo was once again revived by the rebels and lay the foundation stone for the later three kingdoms. Later Silla's fame lasted for about 267 years before the then ruling king, King Gyeongsung, in 935, subdued before Goryeo. He was the 56th and the last ruler of Silla. Since its discovery, Silla and later Silla ruled for 992 years. 
Balhae. The initial mention of Balhae is in the old Book of Tang. The script was written between 941 and 945. Northern Korea and Southern Manchuria were initially a part of Goguryeo, which was one of the three kingdoms of Korea. After seeing Golden Age, Silla and Tang dynasty later on. Both Tang and Silla annexed parts and set up their rule. Amidst all this confusion, one of the Goguryeo officials by the name of Dae Jung Sang, together with Gyeol Sa Byu, who was a leader of the Mohe people, went with war against Tang in 698. The Mohe were a Tungusic people from ancient Manchuria. Dae Jung Sang was succeeded by his son Dae Jo Yong. In a battle against the Tang, Gyeol Sa Byu lost his life, while Dae Jo Yong escaped narrowly with what was left of the Guoguryeo and Mohe soldiers. Later, he won the Battle of Tianmenling, which then let him establish the state of Balhae in the region of Yilou. He ruled as King Go. The second king of Balhae, King Mu, with Balhae's navy power, attacked one of the Tang's prefect, which was established on Shandong Peninsula. Simultaneously, he led foot armies and occupied several towns around the Shanghai Pass. He also threatened Silla by sending a mission to Japan in 728. Balahe and Japan had commercial and diplomatic contacts with each other till Balhae's empire existed. Envoys were sent to each other's kingdoms. King Mu was succeeded by King Mun, who was the longest reigning ruler of Balhae. He was the son of King Mu. Like his father, King Mun also expanded the territory of Balhae. He went towards the north, Amu Valley, and towards the west, it was La Dong Peninsula. He also established relations with Silla and thus unifying the Korean peninsula towards the south. Mu also bettered relations with Japan. After moving his capital many times, King Mu established Sangyong as the capital of Balhae. Sangyong was situated towards the south of Lake Jingpo, which is present today Heilongjiang. The Chinese considered him a king, but Mu said he was an emperor and was a son of heaven. The following kings continued to expand and grow Balhae, and by the time the 10th king, which was King Saun in 810, Balhae ruled northeastern Manchuria, northern Korea, and Primorsky Krai of Russia. Located in the southwest was Little Goguryeo, which was a state developed by the main Goguryeo, one of the three kingdoms, the 10th king, King Seon, took over most of the Mohe tribes and the little Goguryeo situated in the Lai Dong Peninsula. While he had become so strong that Silla had to build a huge wall in its northern side in 721 and keep an active watch in the border which they shared with Balhi. Balhi's complete system comprised of 62 countries, 5 capitals and 15 prefectures. King Seon ruled till year 830, after which there are no records of Balhae. Scholars think that the eruption of Mount Baekdu might have along with the attack Kitang Kingdom of Liao dynasty led to the fall of Balhae. Some of them also say that Balhae went to war with the other ruling nations of Korea and declined. In 926, the Kitans attacked and sieged the capital of Balhae for 25 days. Kitans destroyed Balhi and set up Dongdan Kingdom. Dongdan was basically a puppet state which is independent for namesake but is actually ruled by an outer power. In a decade time, Dongdon was taken over by Liao. Most of the elite class of Balhi were forcibly asked to live at Liaoyong, however, the eastern region of Balhi was untouched and independent politically. Goryosa, written in Hanja's script compiled by a team of scholars led by Jong Ginji and Kim Jong Seo, comprises the after history of Goryeo, written a hundred years later in the reign of King Sejong, who ordered it to be written. The compilation talks about thousands of homes of Balhi escaped the Kithans in 925, who were led by a general. What remained of Balhi was taken in the kingdom of Kitans. The Jurchens were also made a part of the Dongdong Kingdom. Balhae was the only kingdom to hold such a huge territory. The Jurchen people took over the Kitans and founded the Jin Dynasty. 
Although records mention that the refugees of Balhi survived, including the crown prince, Dai Guangyong, there is nothing mentioned about the after history of our their successors. Later Three Kingdoms The later three kingdoms of Korea comprised of Hubaekje, Silla, and Hugoryeo. During the 9th and 10th centuries, Silla was undergoing problems because of their atrocious bone rank system. This was an inflexible class system where those who belonged to the aristocrat class would only be appointed in the higher position. It was a way by which the ruling family dominated the political areas. The lower and middle class people, such as the village chiefs and nobles, began to strengthen their forces and after the ruling king, King Kiangong, died, the opposition became stronger. There was a political turmoil in the kingdom and Silla's financial condition was also critical. The aristocrats didn't pay the taxes and the peasants had to bear them. There were revolts throughout the kingdom in 889 when Queen Jin Song was the ruler. The next century saw continued revolts which ultimately tore apart Silla. Once Silla fell, one of the former Silla generals, Gyeon Huang, along with his troops, seized the capital of Mujinju in 892, which is present-day Gwangju. In 900, he took control of Southwest territories and Huan declared himself the king of Hubaekje. He made Wan Sanju the capital and led an expedition of expanding the kingdom. Another noble Gun Yi was a Buddhist monk but joined in the political rebellions and became a leader of several troops. He and his army captured much land and he set up a base at Myeongju in 895, which is now known as Gangneung. Gang Ye founded Hugo Gryo and made Cheo Wan his capital. In 904, he renamed the kingdom Mai Jin and once again, in 911, he called it Taebong. Hubaekje was the leader in terms of strength and lands because it was allies with China and its lands were fertile. However, Hugo Griao soon took over the front line and overpowered the other two kingdoms. Hugo Griao expanded their territories, occupying almost three fourths of the Korean peninsula under King Gung Ye and their general Wang Gyeong. Gung Ye became overpowerful and began addressing himself as Maitreya Buddha and took to dictatorship, which soon led to his fall. His views caused many arguments in the people who were not willing to accept his thoughts. He had executed several monks, including one of his wives and two sons. In 918, he was overthrown by Wang Gyeong, his general. A new dynasty was established by Wang Gyeong, which was known as Goryeo. He also moved his capital to Songak and created a triumvirate of Goryeo, Silla, and Baekje. All the three kingdoms were always looking for opportunities to gain more control and power. Silla was a very weak kingdom and was not much of a threat to Baekje and Goryeo. The ruler of Hubaekje, Gwen Huan, had an aggressive attitude, but Wang Gyeon of Goryeo gave importance to making political connections which ingratiated Goryeo to Silla. Goryeo and Hubaekje had regular conflicts around the Silla regions, as both of them wanted to gain control of the kingdom. Hubaekje attacked the capital of Silla, Gyeongju in 927, and crumpled Goryeo's army. Wang Gyeon answered by winning the 930 battle in Gochan. He reclaimed the region of Wu Jing in 934. Silla's then ruling emperor, King Gyeong's son, surrendered to Goryeo in 935. The kingdom of Hubaekje was tried from the wars and so was their King Gyeong Huan. It was time for his successor to take over and he named Gyeong Gang, who was his youngest son, as his heir. But a rebellion took place among the sons of Gyeong Huan. His son, Yang Gyeong and Yong Gyeong, helped Sing Gyeong, who was the eldest of the sons, to kill Gyeong Gang and take over the throne. Gyeong Huan was restricted to Guam Sam Temple, but the retired king escaped and fled to Wang Guan of Goryeo to look for shelter. The kind hearted king of Goryeo welcomed him and gave him land and slaves. 
Later, in 936, Wang Gaon and his huge army on the request of Gyeon Huan attacked Hubaekje and subdued the kingdom. Gyeon Huan died in the same year because of an exacerbated tumour, while his son, who plotted and took over the throne, was forgiven by Wang Gyeon and given a noble title. Wang Gyeon said that Sing Gyeon's brother had planned the kill, hence he forgave him. Accounts of the two brothers, Yang Gyeom and Yong Gyeom, are unknown. Some say that they were assassinated, while some say they were exiled from the kingdom. The Korean peninsula was thus reunited in 936. Goryeo Dynasty After subduing Silla and Habaekje, the Goryeo Dynasty had become a supreme power in the peninsula by 936. Since Wang Gyeon was a Goryeo noble, the dynasty was named as Goryeo. Kaesong was made the capital city of the kingdom, it also happened to be Wang Gyeon's hometown. Kaesong is current day North Korea. The rule of Goryeo dynasty was till the year 1392, and in between the period of 1170 and 1270, the kingdom was controlled by military regime leaders. Nevertheless, during the time of Goryeo rule, the kingdom flourished. Civil service system was introduced and laws were put into the system. The religion of Buddhism spread in the peninsula. Celadon pottery or greenware became famous in the 12th and 13th centuries in Goryeo. The Tripitaka Koreana, where Buddhist scriptures are carved on 81,258 wooden blocks, is a famous artifact from this period. The Goryeo people also learned to make movable metal products, which is considered as one of the greatest achievements of this dynasty. Goryeos were attacked by the Kithans, who were very powerful at that time, but the Kithians faced defeat at the Battle of Kuju. General Gang Gam Chan led the Goryeo army. After the defeat of the Kithans, the Goryeo dynasty went through a golden age for about 100 years. It was in this time that learning, Printing, publishing, art, literature, science and religion flourished. There was 12 universities by 1100 which helped Goryeo to get good scientists and scholars. The Mongols started their campaign of conquering Korea. It lasted for 39 years and there were seven main campaigns that the Mongols made but they failed to subdue Korea. Goryeo was tired of these wars and sent Won Yong, who was their crown prince, to swear allegiance to the Mongols. His proposal was accepted by the then Mongol king Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan also had one of his daughters married to the crown prince and in the next 80 years Goryeo was ruled by the Yuan dynasty of Mongols from China. There were many marriages between Korean princes and Mongol princesses. In fact, one of the Korean princesses was also the Empress of Yuan dynasty. The Yuan dynasty had almost crumbled by the 1350s and this situation led the Goryeo king Gong Min to make changes in his administration. There were many problems that had to be taken care of and some of the most important ones were to have the Mongols holding ranks in military and those of the aristocratic family removed from his lands stop the acrimony between the Confucian and Buddhist scholars. It was in this time that the Goryeos failed two invasions by the Red Turbans, took over Lia Yong and defeated the Yuan who tried to take over Goryeo. In the 1380s, the Goryeo targeted the Japanese pirates who were referred to as Woko. They used nautical armaments and destroyed hundreds of Japanese pirate ships. In one of the coups of 1388, a general named Yi Sangyi took over the Goryeo dynasty and established the Joseon dynasty. Joseon dynasty General Yi Sangyi laid the foundation of Joseon dynasty. The Sangyi was later referred to as Taizhou. The name Joseon was given by him in the honor of Gojo Seon. It was based on the ideology of Confucianism. The capital city was the Hanyang, which is the present-day Seoul. Taizhou built a Gyeongbokgung palace here and made Neo-Confucianism the official religion of the kingdom in 1394. 
Both his son and grandson, King Taijong and Sejong the Great, made several reforms both social and administrative to institute their authority in the kingdom in the dynasty's initial years. The rulers of Joseon were wealthy and in the 15th and 16th centuries promoted science and education. Taejo's grandson Sejong the Great publicized the Korean alphabet, Hangul. It was a golden age and the people saw many developments in the areas of astronomy, geography, military, printing, meteorological observations, ceramics, calendar science, medicine and cartography. There began a series of unrest in the dynasty when there were political skirmishes, conflicts in the royal court and Japanese invasions between 1592 and 1598. A Japanese warrior, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, tried to conquer Asia through Korea, but the Korean forces managed to fight the Japanese forces. Admiral Yi Sung Sin became famous during these times with his turtle ship. Korea was just rebuilding itself when the Manchus started invading the kingdom in 1627. The kingdom faced much political problems and decision on who would become the next king was also decided after many conflicts. Manchu invaded the kingdom again in 1636, after which Joseon experienced two centuries of peace. Two kings from the 18th century, King Yongjo and King Jongjo, brought about a period of renaissance in the Joseon dynasty. They made several changes to comfort the administrative disturbances between the Confucian intellectuals who were in the high positions of the court. There were many uprisings and revolts in the upcoming years. The government made many reforms in the 19th century but followed a stern isolationist policy, because of which they were known as Hermit Kingdom. The policy was put in place to dodge the expansionism, but soon Joseon had to start open trade, which led to Japanese rule for some time. In 1853, the USS South America, which was a gunboat of the Americans, came in contact with the officials of Korea in Busan for 10 days. The American ships that got shipwrecked got a good treatment and were sent to China for repatriation. Joseon kings were quite aware of the invasion of foreigners and the First and Second Opium War which had engulfed China, which is why they kept themselves limited from the western frontiers. In 1866, there was a massacre of the French Catholic missionaries and the Koreans who had converted to Catholicism. The French came and occupied some parts of Gangwa Island. The Koreans lost badly, but the French fled from the island. The Americans tried to establish trade relations with Korea in 1866, but became stranded near Pyongyang. The Koreans asked the ship to leave, but the Americans started a fight there that continued for four days. The Koreans finally set fire to the American ship, which was named General Sherman. The American forces confronted the Korean army in 1871 and killed 243 Koreans in Gangwa before they turned back. The incident is known as Sin by the Koreans. In 1882, five years later, Korea signed a treaty with the United States of America and Japan. The Gaomun Island was occupied by the British in 1885, but they withdrew their army in 1887. In 1884, there was a conflict between a reforming group and the Orthodox court, which led to the gaps in coup. The reformers wanted to bring about equality in the society. They wanted to remove the privileges received by the Yang Ban class, which was the ruling class in the Joseon dynasty. The Japanese supported the reforms and were set back by the Qing troops, China, whom Queen Min invited as she was conservative. Yuan Shikai of the Qing troops stayed back and looked after the affairs of Korea while his troops went back to China. Korean affairs were then taken care of by the Chinese government. They promoted trade with China but blocked the Japanese traders. Rebellions happened in the nation and there were anti-Chinese revolts and as a result all the Chinese ships were set on fire. Japan was then the trading partner of Korea. Japan forced Korea to open their ports in 1868. Modern Korea Sino-Japanese war happened when the Japanese challenged the Qing Empire. The Treaty of Shimonoseki in 1895 brought peace between the countries of Japan and China. 
Josian was completely independent and was free to apply their own political policies in the system. Joseon was named Korean Empire in 1897 and King Goijong was made Emperor Goijong. The emperor-led nation aimed to become stronger by strengthening its policies and developing trade and commerce. There were organizations which supported the imperial government but looked forward for power and monarchy. Gojong's son then took over the position as Emperor Sung Jong. In a Treaty of Japan, Korea annexation in 1910, Japan took over Korea. They developed all policies for the interest for Japan only. In 1919, Emperor Go Jong died and rumors spread that he was poisoned. Thousands of Japanese soldiers were killed and many protest rallies happened which was supported by the US President Woodrow Wilson. The Koreans were forced by the Japanese to take part in the World War II. About 200,000 girls from China and Korea suffered sexual slavery from Japanese soldiers. Japan surrendered to the Allied forces of Japan and Soviet on August 9, 1945. On December 12, 1948, General Assembly of United Nations declared Republic of Korea as a single government of Korea. But Korean War broke in the country on June 25, 1950. With American support, South Korea, and with Soviet support, North Korea became two different countries. North Korea established a communist rule and Kim the second son became the supreme leader till he died and was inherited by his son. South Korea became a democratic country and became a market-oriented country. South Korea has become a highly developed country while North Korea continues to struggle under the dictatorship of Kim Jong-un. Korea always stood strong against its enemies. The history clearly shows how kings fought to protect their people and their lands. Although there were differences, they became one and stood strong when it came to facing their enemies. Korean history is a relatively clear one which isn't confusing like those of the other nations. A few, dynast a few dynasties ruled the nation but they ruled for long. However, they seem to have blocked themselves from the world to preserve what they thought was right. They were simple people who did not want to entangle themselves in confusion and war. Although different thoughts and influential people seem to have torn the nation into two, where one seems to be doing extremely well and the other is still struggling to enjoy the basic comforts of life, such as internet, there still remains a hope that one day North and South Korea would be seen unified just like all days when the dynasties had unified and ruled under one government with peace flowing through the nation.